Hey, what is up, guys? I'm in Nexon now, and today I received a pretty cool phone, and it is the Goo Phone N2. So, now let's take a look at it. So, now let's look at what came with it. Just take this out. It is a SIM card cutter to cut it to a micro SIM. Came in this package. And now let's open the box. It came, well, let's look at a box. It came in like the same box it comes when you buy the real Galaxy Note 2. Here's it, here's a site. Wait, try to focus in. We're here. Samsung.com and now in the back and there are a couple of specs as you can see but they aren't the specs of the Google N2 because this is in a quad core version it is the youth version as you can call it so now let's open the box let's see what is in it whoops sorry screen protector the phone I'll put this aside for now A manual instruction in Chinese the data cable I guess Site. Um, the earphones. Put it aside because I can't open it. And a wall adapter to use in China, but you should have to buy an adapter to use it wherever you, depending on where you are. Like I'm in the, can I'm in Canada, so I have an adapter for that. And as well as two batteries, as you can see. They are 3100 milliamps. Now let's look at the phone. So I took it out here now. And it comes this screen protector for the spikes of the phone, not the actual spikes. Let's just open the back. And as you can see, you can see the model is GT and 7100, etc. You can put a SIM card over here. No, let's just close it. Oh no, wait, I'll put this back in. Anyways, and it also comes with a stylus, not like the MP royalty. So now let's open it. Where's that? Okay, it's over here. Samsung's boot screen. And it doesn't seem to like like on the Ampere royalty. I'll just try to take the screen protector off. Okay, so here you have it. 
Here's the phone. I'll change the settings in English. I'll be back. Okay, so I am back and I installed my SIM card as well as the um, SD card. But it, the SD card doesn't seem to work. I don't think the problem is with the phone. It is because I used an, an adapter, a uh, nano SIM to micro SIM. Anyways, let's take a, uh, a fast. Let's take a fast look at the user interface. As you can see, it is very fast. It doesn't lag, and also I'll focus in. The lights in the bottom are really bright compared to the MP royalty that which isn't does which doesn't have bright lights. Sorry. The browser. And when you type, you have that buzzin. Buzzin. I don't. I forget the word. Anyways, we'll say it's buzzin. We have that buzzin when you type on a keyboard. Here's this China website. Really fast when you scroll. Check this website out. Music app. Couple of artists. Check the music. You can also play video over here, but I have no videos on my phone. Now let's take a look at how the phone works. Here you have the volume buttons up and down. Or top, you have you can put your earphones. Camera, yeah, and there is a small microphone. You can see it there. The power button over here, and where you connect the data cable, and also a microphone. Back, have the speakers where the Samsung stylus goes. Also, it has the Samsung logo. Stylus back in. And you've already seen it in. Here's where you put the S the micro SD card. I'll focus in. This and a micro SIM card. And this phone has a Samsung logo in the front as well as I mean in the front here as well as on the back over here well this is quite it for the unboxing and first look and I'll ha try to have a review up on my youtube channel um, like next week or maybe even this, we this weekend because it is eastern and I have time to make some videos so well uh, that's it peace out bye